Wax canvas bags are next to leather bags, which are next to boots in heaven. <laughs> I have a few uh, messenger and satchel bags, but in this case, I've come closer to home. In fact, just down the road. Keep watching and I'll tell you about this bag. G'day, how you going? Welcome back to Bootlosophy and if you haven't been here before, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on here in Perth, Western Australia, the Wajik people of the Greater Noongar Nation. Now, I don't know why, but boot collectors like bags. I suppose it's the heritage world that boots represent and therefore the kind of heritage bags uh, that we also get into. Now, I have reviewed uh, bags before, but they've all been from the Indonesian bag maker Kravar, and you can see one of them up there. Um, I have a number of bags, so I'll probably start to bring them to you uh, to show you the types of bags that I like that actually go with the boots that I have. But in this case, uh, this is the Jack Stillman Wax Canvas Messenger Bag. And I thought I'd borrow a, a leaf out of Jim Crane's channel, that's James Crane, go check him out. And I'm gonna do a close-up review of this bag so that you can actually see the features. So this is the Jack Stillman uh, Wax Canvas Messenger Bag. Uh, this is the old version. Uh, it's about, I think, six years old and has since been improved with some different changes that I'll tell you about. Basically the same bag, just a couple of new additions uh, to improve it. I'm always confused, by the way, whether something is a satchel bag or a messenger bag, but uh, uh, <laughs> we'll ignore my ignorance and, and carry on. Uh, Jim Crane might be able to tell me. Uh, now, Jack Stillman is the local maker of uh, waxed gear, bags and uh, bed rolls, that sort of thing. Um, I do believe he's a bit of a motorcycle head, so some of the features in this bag and on his other products suit riding on motorcycles. For example, there is this pass-through that uh, you can attach to your panniers, I think. I, I have no idea how. I, I don't own a motorcycle and, and uh, I think the only kind of two-wheeled motorized transport I had was a little 50cc scooter. So don't ask me to look rugged in this. Um, the company, Jack Stillman, started in 2014 and first they started selling via Facebook ads, which is where I saw this. Uh, I'll leave a link to the website below. Um, now, uh, they use a, a, a wax canvas that's really quite sturdy, as you can see. Uh, not heavily waxed, it's quite light, but it is definitely waterproof, or at least showerproof. They use some real uh, brass hardware uh, that has also been improved on uh, since and the leather used is veg tanned leather. So let me go through the bag and uh, describe it. Now, uh, this bag is full of my stuff, so I wanted it full so that you could see what I'm carrying in it. But let's go through the outside of the bag. So you have a standard flap over um, with reinforced by these leather straps that do go down into the uh, lower uh, seams, uh, front and back. Uh, but in the back, they only stop at, the, at where the uh, flat comes over. And uh, they are affixed by these sort of uh, S-shaped hooks, which are a bit of a problem because if you put too much into them, and be being a soft bag is quite expandable, uh, it's not that easy to sort of pull everything over and, and clip it on. Uh, not impossible but it's, it's never easy. It's, it's so you kind of have to pull everything and then, and then sort of slip it on. Um, on both sides are little uh, bottle uh, pockets. And when I say little, I mean little because not a, not a big bottle fits into there. I actually use it as in this case to keep my glasses in there uh, uh, just in case I need to reach my glasses very quickly and as you can see they're not easy to get out because the pocket's quite small. The new bags have bigger pockets and they also have uh, in this leather reinforcement patch here a little drain hole in case your water leaks I suppose. 
Uh, or I should say, by the way, that the new bags also have proper buckles, so you can actually buckle the strap through, which is, which is far more practical. Um, around the back, you have a pass-through, so that you can put this onto your roller luggage, and then you have these pannier straps. Uh, the shoulder strap is also made of a very soft canvas, or um, I'm not sure if that's canvas, I suppose that's more like cotton drill. Uh, with this veg tan leather surfaced but padded uh, shoulder strap, shoulder uh, pad. They are affixed to the bag using the same sort of uh, S hooks as on the front. And again, that used to slip off so easily. Um, I actually had to get my cobbler to close a stitch there so that you, you couldn't easily pull it out. Often when this was on a plane, I'd grab the strap and pull, and the other side would just pull off. Uh, again, not practical. Again, this has been improved with proper buckles and, and uh, D-rings. Uh, so the new version is much more practical. Uh, inside the bag, let's open this out now. First off is this extremely colourful lining with the Jack Stillman patch. This, I believe, and the, the, the new version is now a red um, water resistant lining, very similar to the cravat lining, by the way. Um, let's just leave that for the moment. There are two uh, big patch pockets out at the front. Now, I find these very useful. They're gusseted so that they actually expand a little bit, and I shove things like sunglasses, uh, uh, little selfie stick pen rolls into the front where I can get to them. On the inside, there are uh, two compartments in the main compartment. There is the main compartment, which as you can see is actually reasonably roomy. Uh, it has a couple of uh, uh, pockets in there of different sizes. And then it has a zip pocket so that you can put things in that you don't want to lose in the inside of the bag. Uh, and because the lining is actually quite loose, I find these inside pockets very easy to lose things in. Uh, at the back, there is a padded section with this elastic Velcro strip for you to put your laptop in there. Um, I don't really need this padded laptop carrier, but I put it there anyway because I always take it wherever my laptop goes. Uh, this is already padded front and back. The uh, closure is by zip. So, you know, if you wanted to, you could zip it up and nothing falls out. But for what I carry, often more, more than not, I leave it unzipped because I do sort of shove things in there. And if it was zipped, the expandability is limited. So, all in all, um, it's a reasonably good sized messenger bag satchel with reasonably good pockets uh, in and out. My criticisms of this old model is the hardware, not very practical, uh, and this um, floppy lining, which makes you lose things on the inside. The look, though, I think is extremely attractive. The canvas used is um, quite, a, quite a high weight canvas, uh, and is so it's quite protective. Uh, I haven't re-waxed it at all, so you can see the patina has been developing in the last five or six years uh, as the wax cracks and so on. Uh, the veg tan leather is soft and is patinaing, patinaing, is that a word? Patinaing uh, really nicely. So there you go. Um, go check out Jack Stillman on their website. I think you'll find that the new version of this bag uh, is a lot more practical and if I didn't have this, I'd probably buy the new version. So, I hope you like this video. This is a different video. This is James Crane style. And I mentioned James because he reviews bags. And if you ever want to know anything about bags, go and check out James Crane's channel. Uh, you won't miss. Uh, so, I hope you like this video in this different style. Click on like if you like. Click on like if you like. And I hope you like. But definitely click on subscribe because I'd love to see you back here in this channel. So, until the next time. Please take care and I'll see you soon.